Survivor Series Showdown Special. And I hate that shit. If you think I'ma lose, don't give a scenario, pussy. Just say that shit. Cause he coming for respect. But this nigga dumb, cause I ain't giving none. He gotta take that shit. I'm whooping down on dog like, like you a Willie son. You a Willie son, don't play that shit. <laughs> 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 Turn up. I'm having a hard time believing this bitch nigga is with that. Mm -hmm. Like, you was a little kid. Stop. Disrespecting your elders, you get your lips slapped. If you shoot and so happen to miss, mm -hmm. I cause a mishap. Make you go helmet to helmet with the 40. I bet that you lose your chin strap. Mm -hmm. You know what, bro? We're gonna get it jumping straight from the whip. That big chopper, they'll get wet. No, bro. It's like a kid with Tourette's. You know what? Facts. They won't be able to shit proper, but I got you. So for any nigga who think he's sick partner, I'ma just walk down on him. With the mass and the stick, the witch doctor. And now you wanna take the juice to what's poppin', Scrap. I'm only here to make sure your soul gets lifted. This eagle gonna send you a message flying. That's a homing pigeon. Or I got the knife with me. Or I got the knife with me. Or I got the knife with me. And with that shit, they know I'm gifted. It's finna break him all the way down. We doing long division, I hope. I couldn't get it in here, but word to read, I got that heat outside with the magazine. Like, which one of you niggas want to read my vibe? The sub? <laughs> It's red and blue. Niggas caught white and you might hear some sirens round there in your hood. Let's keep it real, ain't no violence round there. I mean, niggas got guns, but they fold with the peace like Gandhi round there. I'm nice. I'm nice. Like I'll wave an arm early morning and it's church time. And then wave it again like you ain't seen me the first time. I said, what happened to you, bro? You used to be. Hold on. Somebody cut that Meek Mill on. Who <laughs> you ain't read the card? Who <laughs> you ain't read the card? Yes, Bitch, I'm a boss. My bad, bro. Switch the song, but still keep that Meek Mill on. Because to you and everybody that likes you, I seem basic. That's what they got running through their mind. Until I put feet on the bullets and let them run up in his mind while he sleep. Shh. Oh, now I'm dream chasing. See, I'm sweeping. All right, um, we got Craig Lamar over Big Cannon. Who else is on the card? Damn. You got, uh, fucking Verb. Oh, yeah, we were talking yeah, about we, Verb. Yeah, we were talking about Verb and, uh, Gems. Verb and Gems. Gems the fucking, uh, the, the, the killer blogger. Yeah, the, the self proclaimed, too. <laughs> Yo, he turned the fuck up, dog. He named himself the, the, the king of blog. Yeah, he definitely is. He definitely is. Shout out to Jim. Jim's my ninja, man. I fuck with Jim's, man. Uh, yeah, but him versus Verb. Verb ain't, like I said, Verb ain't do too well to me. You know what I mean? I think he won the battle, but he wasn't like, uh, like, don't get me wrong. He had his moments. He had some moments. You know what I mean? But he didn't, like, wow me the whole battle. Like, I didn't feel like, yo, I seen Verb. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm still a fan. And you feel what I'm saying? I ain't no Hollywood nigga. Like, I don't fuck with niggas. Pause. But yeah, I'm still a fan. 
Uh, but it's the same thing. Like, I like hunger. You feel what I'm saying? And I hate comfortability. I believe Heavy Have look at me like he comfortable enough. And don't get me wrong, Heavy Have got something to prove because he he wasn't there for the XL battle. I mean, not the XL battle, the uh, show-off battle. He was supposed to battle show-off when I battled with Millie on Validation 3. Hmm. You feel what I'm saying? But he couldn't make it. So that's why show-off battled. And that was like one day prep. He battled that chick. He battled too oh, big. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? But, you know, Heavy Have, he look at me like, I believe, you know, Big Cannon look at Craig Lamar like, I believe, uh, fucking Verb look at Jim's like, and it's a winner takes all. So, whoever, whoever, that's why. Do I you feel like that's story. a, uh, do you honestly feel like that's a seniority thing? Because all of the names that you just named are veterans and they and they got so much time into into the into the sport you know what i'm saying and into into battle rap where somebody that is hungry like you or like jim's you know what i'm saying or like craig lamar all of these names these guys are the up and comers right. they still feel like they have something to prove right do you feel the veterans are not just doing it for a check because i'm not i'm not gonna take it to that extreme mm -hmm. um but like you said, it's it's about feeling comfortable. Mm -hmm. Like, do they? Do you think that they are just looking at it like, yo, they they you know these are cats that is the same spot that I was five years ago, ten years ago. Yeah. So I respect the hunger, but they can't fuck with me. Right. Like I, I'm where I'm at because of because of that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you can't fuck with me. I've right. been doing this twice as long as you. I got twice as many battles in as you. Right. You can't fuck with me. But I'm a, I'm gonna let you try. Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? We can right. get in this ring and, and, right. and do what we do. Yeah. But is that is that is that the perspective that you see it as or? I, it's kind of both. But I see it more that way. You feel what I'm saying? I see it more as like like. They don't, I, I think they look at it as a smack battle. Like, I hate to keep saying, you know, smack and RBE, because there's no comparison. Smack and RBE do two different things. You feel what I'm saying? But as battle rappers, I believe they look at it that way. You feel what I'm saying? So I believe they look at it because you, you never see a fucking big cannon slack on RBE. You feel what I'm saying? He, he always give it his all. So... But when it come to a matchup, that's how I believe they look at it. I mean, I believe they look at it like, I'm that nigga, who are you? You feel what I'm saying? Which they supposed to, but just because you made it to the boss desk don't mean it's still not work to do. This is what people don't understand. You feel me? You Facts. always, it's more work to do. Facts. You feel what I'm saying? That's why you got to be smart with it and your material can't just be for your opponent. And that's what them big names do. The material be for the opponent and not for the brand. You have a brand out here, bro. Like, don't destroy your brand. It's all right to have a off game or two, but when you just come in, you can tell when a battle rapper is coming for a check. Big Cannon, I don't think he coming for a check. You feel me? I think he. I don't think. I don't think. Hey, well, Jim's and what you call him, they definitely coming for a check because that's the winner takes all. I mean, like whatever Jim's. Uh, if he lose whatever he get paid, goes to Aver. Vice versa, you feel me? Mm. So that's a definite dope battle. And uh yeah, man, I got the underdogs, man. I ain't even gonna lie. I got the underdogs except except the uh the the other two battles, cause they more ain't none of them really underdogs, you feel what I'm saying? But I got Jim's two one, man. Because it's so much pressure on Jim's that he his style alone people got him losing it ain't so much of him because he's a smart dude i mean uh but his style alone i think people got him losing with a hungry verb for the money but i believe jim's gonna pull something out the hat and really fuck that that whole room up you mm -hmm. feel me so i got jim's 2-1 man close out the um close out the car who else we got yeah. i know we did like we we said CeeLo. we said you and you and heavy half we said Craig Lamar and, and Big Cannon. We said A Verb and Jims. Now we show off and Mav Hoffa. 
Show Brooklyn. off and Brooklyn. mad Hoffa. Brooklyn. Facts. Oh, it's facts. Down. This, this the, this the thing too. It's a bully battle. Facts. You feel what I'm saying? These. <laughs> I mean, that's a that's a Brooklyn thing too. You know what I mean? When when you look at Brooklyn rappers, uh, uh, math like you said, show off, uh, Brooklyn Carter, uh, Holly on demand. It's 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 kind of a Brooklyn thing, to kind of be a bully. You know what I'm saying? Whether whether you're a professional bully, whether you're a street nigga that's trying to bully, you know, what I'm it's just it's an attitude that niggas stay with their armor on all the time. Yeah, you know I mean? <laughs> facts. A nigga got a shield on at all times. All the time. You, you feel me? That's so the part. you know what I'm saying? So uh, right there, like Brooklyn niggas, they they chill, but they have no chill. Like right, you know what right, I'm right. Right. <laughs> that's that's the craziest thing about it. Like Brooklyn niggas chill, but they have no chill. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's always. Niggas is always on go, Brooklyn niggas. So I, I'm very interested to see that battle right there. Real, I'm about to see that. I'm this shit about to be so real. Like you gotta understand, Math Hopper is coming off of oh that was the worst math I seen, and then you got Show Off who's coming home. Right. You know, Adi Boom run RBA. Facts. That's what I'm saying. We Facts. Have to run an RBA. You got new niggas. You know, Gems and I mean Jay Murder. What it do? I mean. They got they got a roster, you feel me? But they they really don't have a they don't do contracts, so it ain't a roster. You feel me? Facts. Uh, Anybody else on that card? The biggest the biggest battle thus far this year. The biggest battle this year. Fucking Arsenal and QB. Yeah. The king of disrespect. Yeah, the king of disrespect. First the queen of disrespect. Facts. Facts. This ain't even about the bars. You don't understand these people can come in here and don't have to rap and just be totally disrespectful. Like, think of yourself being creative to disrespect your boss or somebody you don't like. Battle rap wise, they don't like each other. You feel me? So there is about to be some shit said that don't bring your kid. Don't you can't walk by the venue with your child. Not why that battle going on. RBE eating fucked the year up at the top of the year. I'm talking about as far as like how they did it, a theme card. They didn't fuck the year up, man. Yeah. Arsenal was finally battling a female. First you just had Verb finally getting a female. You feel me? Then that went down. And now you got Arsenal, who never disrespected a female in a battle. This is first time. And a person who claims his title as a female. Oh, it's going to be real. That's dope. That's a very dope concept. That's crazy. Very dope concept. That's the craziest concept of the card. Like, I got a nice style class and we going to go to war because we both aggressive. You feel me? It's but what, be what better way to match up the king of disrespect? Versus the queen of disrespect. Like, dog, you miss this. If you miss this, you you really don't want to be in here. You just being in battle rap to be in there. Wow. Or or you just ain't got or you got to work or something like if it's if you ain't got none of that, no family or work, then I don't know what you doing, bro. It ain't even worth it going to see your side chick, bro. You need to be here. If you're a battle rapper and you need connections, you need to be here. If you're a league owner and you want to see what's up with ARP and possibly do a card or whatever, try to talk big, you need to be here. This is it. This is it. This is my big debut. Okay, all these flaws we've been seeing, what do he got? Listen, I'm a different floss every time. RBE is the home because they believed in me. Facts. You feel me? They believe genuinely, not... Showing work. I'm talking about conversation. You feel me? I told them when I get on RBE, I feel like I made it. I don't, I'm not, I never went for a smack battle, but don't get me wrong. I'm not no dumb nigga. Smack is, smack is it too. I mean, that's the stage I would love to hit, but I need to be respected when I hit it because I'm not no beat out or nothing, but they skip the PGs. Twerk skip, skip the PGs. Facts. You feel me? I, I, well, I'm not better than him. <laughs> Shout out to that. Shout out to the homie though. I fuck with him. People is, talking about is that is that something possible in the future? Floss versus twerk? Bro, that would be Floss versus New Jersey twerk? Bro. I mean, do you have speaking on that, man, DM DMV has been um very popular 
of late last couple of weeks. Like I've been seeing hashtag DMV. I've been seeing all types of shit. Salute to all the DMV niggas down there. Um, you just named uh, New Jersey twerk. We talking about people like Ty Law. We talking about people like Rada. Um, we talking people talking about people like Prep. Um, Jack. Jack. Jack Boy. Yo. Jack. Glue Boy. Yeah. Glue Easy. Um. Even I might even I might even go to the extent of saying none none. Yeah. Um. Yeah. None none is wrapped up with that. You know what I'm saying? Who out of that little DMV crew would you want to lock horns with? Roddy Jack Twerk. Drugs. Hmm. Drugs is definitely a part of that. Drugs is definitely a part of that. Me and Drugs was just talking on Facebook yesterday. I was supposed to lock with Drugs and, uh, on Validation 4, but he had a PJ. And I guess he, I don't know if it went down or not, but he was like basically not right now because we was on Validation 3 together and he seen what I did to Swift Miller. He told me I had a light opponent. opponent. That ain't my fault. Swift Miller, I ain't know who he was. You feel what I'm right. saying? I ain't even know. I done heard of drugs, but I ain't know who Zigzag was like that. It Salute to Zigzag too, me. man. Zigzag. Salute the high life. That be. I'm not smoking with you no more, my nigga. <laughs> Zigzag, I'm not smoking with you no more. You get too high, dog. Right? Not no coconut, <laughs> no disrespect. I'm talking about this bitch roll loud blunts about the size of the blunts that you got to take out to break it down for the tobacco. Like, it looked like he pulled a cigarillo out the pack and just lit it up. That's how fat they be. I'm not smoking with you no more, dog. I was high as hell at that J-Legs battle, dog. But, yeah, salute to Zigzag. But, yeah, man, uh, shout out to DMV, man. I get it on with I get it on with them niggas. But I fuck with Jack. I fuck with Jack, too. I think Jack different. Very different. I don't. I'm not too much of a Blue Easy fan. You feel? I don't think he's trash at all. I just I'm they not. saying right now they're they're giving the prediction of, of Blue Easy and um, Twerk as uh, Battle of the Year right now. Um, I mean, not not once again excluding excluding this uh, this this Arsenal QB yeah, battle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, they just saying as of right now, like once again kicking off the year. You know, we fresh in 2017 and. Yeah. And they talking Glue Easy and Twerk was, it was crazy. It was supposed to be. They said that was crazy. Because so because that's the that's the moment. You, they both had to have two moments. Twerk was coming off of, you know, choking. I mean, he still held it down where he got by, but he came off of choking. And he's supposed to be, you know, the LeBron in the league. Mm. I mean, he skipped he skipped college. You feel me? Straight mm. to the pros. So, and then you got Glue Easy. Who just had a nice battle, you feel what I'm saying, with with the ball. But he, Twerk was going to push his pen because he knew what Twerk is worthy of. Facts. You feel that, me? That Glue Easy Badafi Green battle was crazy. Yeah. There's I, no, I, you know, no doubt to that. I, I salute to both of them. You know what I mean? I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm growing. Badafi is starting to grow on me. Yeah. Um, but Glue Easy, Glue Easy said some shit in that battle, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He definitely did. He's not, like I said, he's, it's not that he. It's nothing wrong with Blue Easy. I just think, I mean, it's, you know, it's a couple of things, but I, I just don't, I'm not saying he's trash at all. I mean, like, he's definitely dope. But, what, like I said, what people can do is not even showing that, okay, I'm going to get to that point. You feel what I'm saying? It's kind of like, I'm good. You feel what I'm saying? I hate when battle rappers get to that point. Like, bitch, I'm on here. I'm on this. Like, Nah, I'm on RBE, bitch. I'm trying to get where he called me for the main event every time. Like, I'm not good just on this card. I'm at the bottom of the card. No disrespect. This don't matter for that. I'm on the card. I'm humble. You feel what I'm saying? But personally, I want the top spot. You feel what I'm saying? I want as you, spot. as you should, you bro. Like, as I'm you not, should. I'm not playing. And I'm not battling anybody. You feel what I'm saying? Like, nigga almost got me at the event. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't even gonna hold you, bro. Niggas almost got me at the event. <laughs> Niggas almost got me to set a battle up. I ain't even wanna do it. You feel me? And I ain't speaking to Viz, because me and Viz supposed to lock horns. I mean, shout out to Viz. Salute to Viz. Not Viz. Viz the outlaw, I, Philly. I, I, I pronounced it on Facebook. I never heard nobody calling him what it, they call him <laughs> in person. That nigga's name is Viz. Salute to Viz, though. Salute to yeah. uh, Powerhouse and all that. All right. A lot of names that we just mentioned which is why I'm jumping into this next thing, is actually 
uh, tied into what we got going on too. Mm -hmm. So salute to the next and up and coming Sigu card, March Madness, mm -hmm. Battle of the Bars two, mm -hmm. hashtag Room Rockers or Room Shakers. That's gonna be crazy. Listen, March twenty fifth. Let's just go down these names and let's 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 do a little prediction blog on who you got and who you rocking with mm -hmm. off of this card. All right, I'm with you. Let's start with the two main events because we got two main events and we have two co-main events mm -hmm. for this for this card. First of the main events, Dub the Phenom versus Drugs. <sighs> exactly, exactly. Dub the Phenom versus Drugs. Yeah, that's just one battle on this card. But yeah. let's let's just talk about that real quick. <laughs> Dub the Phenom versus Drugs. Yo, shit. Yo, listen here. Oh, my God. That's going to be... Listen here. I'm trying to host the whole event. I ain't for free. Like, <laughs> I'm on my bonus shit. Just get me high and drunk. Look. Listen here. Drugs. It's fucking dope, man. Drugs got a way of the crowd bowing down to him. For real. Dub. I just watched Dub battle. Dub, I think Dub got something to find. Like, he has his niche where his style is his niche. But I think he needs to find out when and where to land. That's my personal, not and not take nothing away from him. That's my personal personal opinion about it. They going three rounds or one? I believe that's three. Three rounds. It all depends on how drugs is taking Dub to Phenom. I ain't even gonna hold you because some niggas beat their horn a different way. You feel what I'm saying? Facts. And I don't know. I I met drugs personally. I've been around him, but I don't know him personally. I'm like, all right, drugs the type of nigga that uh, you feel what I'm saying? So it's gonna be a fire battle regardless. You feel what I'm saying? But Dub the Phenom is on a mission, man. I don't know how to call that. I ain't gonna lie. I'm running. I'm rocking with Dub. Facts. You feel what I'm saying? All right, keep it in moving. K. Illa verse. Team Hami, King of the Dot, Lex Luthor. Wow. See, that's the thing. Oh, my God, dog. Yo, this card. <laughs> and that's only two. That's only Yo, two Two of the nine battles. This card is crazy. All right. Uh, K. Illa. K. Illa on the mission. K. Illa need this batter than he know. Yeah, I said batter. Uh, dang. new Sig U chant right. has the belt, and see, and is letting the world know because I done seen quite a few pictures I, him holding that belt. Shout out to Lucille. See, I got see, I got K. Ellen with it because Lex Luthor is a person who goes off of what you've done. You feel what I'm saying? And I don't think he can really clown K. Ella. Cause that's what he does, but he makes it to the point where he's giving you a bar or two. You feel what I'm saying? So, I got K. Uh, that's three rounds. Uh, I believe that might be three, possibly one. Okay, but I'm I not sure. Ella winning that. Probably one knowing Lex Luthor. I don't know him, but you know I met him a couple times. Uh, you know, K. Ella is, is still one of the only battle rappers that truly feels like he's undefeated too, right? Yeah, I know that. He's I, on some we sixteen about, and yeah. 0, 17 and oh type shit about, right now. We talked about that, and I t I just told K. Ella, I'm not saying you're not that. I believe you're not that because I just know. I believe one person, you know, literally beat you. I think Temp beat you. I don't think he trashed you. I think he edged you. You feel what I'm saying? But salute to Temp and the FAF game. Yeah, my, my my ninjas. But yo, he's the type that that's what I'm hoping of. You're content with yourself. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's it's not look what they say. What Lux say? It's not about the amount of fights. It's who you fought. So you bragging about 16 and 0, but who did you beat? You beat Frank Finesse. And this is not a shot. I'm literally being honest because I wouldn't battle K. K. Ella because I know what he got. Not right now, I'm talking about. I know what he got. This battle can be bigger than right now. But from a fan perspective, why are you battling? Why are you boasting on people you're supposed to beat? Even if you would have beat Uno, only person that you wasn't supposed to beat, 
I ain't gonna say supposed to, that should've gave you a, a fucking challenge was kaboom. Other than that, you were supposed to beat these people. You feel what I'm saying? With your style and your, the way you connect bars and break them down, you were supposed to trash these people. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it, it didn't happen. Kayla won himself against Temp. He took Temp as just, okay. he ain't know how to take Temp. Temp didn't have a battle. So, it wasn't like Temp trashing, but it just is. But Kayla content with himself. He knows he has better. But he won't bring it out until it, it get out of his head that he's 16. and know that record don't matter when you got a person standing in front of you. It don't matter. You feel what I'm saying? And... I don't want you, I don't want my, as a fan, I don't want my, the person I look, I respect as a battle rapper to go off of, you do what you want, but to go off of 16 and oh against nobodies. What I mean by nobodies is I'm not discrediting nobody he battled, you feel what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is, that's, they had no name when you battled them. Neither did you, you feel what I'm saying? But you were one of us who stood out. Me. You, J. Crew, I can go on and on. I don't want to make nobody feel like I'm leaving them out. But, you know, you we were popular. Like, we we was running South Jersey at a moment with Battle Rap. When you spoke of South Jersey, you had to say our name at that time with Dre Dennis and Bonus and with all of them at that time. You feel what I'm saying? And K. Ella was one of them dudes. So now you, okay, keep that record, bro, but don't do that, bro. You more, you better than that. If I was him, I would erase that record and start from Uno. Because that's where it matters. You feel what I'm saying? My my old battles don't count. I ain't take it serious. I was rapping. I was putting bars together. I ain't take it serious. But I did it where it mattered. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. Okay, I like that. All right. Two uh, co-main events. This is a, a long overdue 15-year... Philly vs. Philly rematch with Major League vs. Cicero. I got Major League straight off the bat. No disrespect to Cicero. Cicero is getting to a point where he's connected with the new wave. So his bars isn't of a old Philly legend. Remember when Reed came back and Reed just really didn't connect like he was trying to be back in the day Reed. Mm -hmm. and it didn't that Reed and John John battle. Yeah. I mean, and it didn't connect. He had some shit where he started off that was dope, but that was the back in the day Reed, and that's what people wanted to hear. But then you got to transition to, you got to be creative. You got to hit hard. You got to, and, and what you call him, been doing that. Cicero been doing that back in the day. You know what I mean? But when you switch it over to the new wave, uh, you can't just say cop and nightstick. You got to really break down the whole uniform of that scheme. You feel what I'm saying? That Cicero didn't connect with yet. You feel what I'm saying? So Major League got so much. It ain't that he got that bar-wise. It's just that he got the advantage to take over and the, the, the down Cicero about what he hasn't done. And he had the opportunity to do. And now you're here battling me. You feel what I'm saying? As a rematch because nobody really wanted you. He got so many angles he could take on Cicero with the, the game shit. The, he know about all that because they really from Philly. They really know each other. So it's not personals, life personals. It's music personals. You know what I mean? So I just think Major League won't win. All right. We talked about Reaper Rail earlier in the interview. So now we have Funeral Man <laughs> versus Reaper Rail. That's going to be the most interesting. Hush. That's going to be the most interesting battle there is on that card. No disrespect to all the battle because of the 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 costume, the 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 shit that they bring to the table with battle rap. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They're going to be different every time. So, but how I look at it. Funeral Man is going to try something. If it lands, it's over. No matter what Reaper says. If it lands, it's over. That's how much of a genius he is. But if it don't land, it's going to be a long night for Funeral. So going into this battle, I don't know what Funeral has. So I'm going to Reaper Rail. Mm. And you know I'm not biased. 
Mm -mm. I fuck with funeral. This thing I counted funeral out this battle. You feel what I'm saying? And it's not that I think he's gonna lose. It's just that you never know what funeral you're gonna get. You feel what I'm saying? You never know what 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 Maurice you're gonna get. You feel me? Uh, and I'm I'm scared to try on him because he's so different. It ain't like he's gonna add to what he does. He's so different. And with a name like Reaper Rail, he's gonna make something out of it. That's gonna be crazy, but it's all on the chances of if it landing now. Now if it land tonight, I mean if it land on March, every other battle I'm going with funeral man. Hmm. Okay. Next matchup. Easy to block captain versus, and I think this was just officially confirmed either yesterday or today. Fresh off of a PG. He just got finished battling another Philly nigga too. Snake Eyes. Easy to block captain versus Snake Eyes. I got... I got easy. Because... Because Snake Eyes is fucking fire. I had him beating Mooga. You feel what I'm saying? Mooga was dope though. I ain't gonna lie. I just think Mooga has him. But, look, it's about sick gear. I got... I got him because Easy is so fucking bar heavy. And he's actually a real nigga. Not what I mean by a real nigga is that when I don't care what you say on stage, I've been through that, so you really not telling me nothing. That's how I look at Easy. You feel what I'm saying? Because anything Easy wants to do, he's gonna do. You feel what I'm saying? I just think he's I think he's gonna beat him round for round like Edge. Because he fill his shit up with so many bars. You feel what I'm saying? That every bar is like Really heavy, really impressed me last couple of times I've seen him. So I got easy edge in that one. I mean, it's gonna be a fight though. I ain't gonna lie. That's gonna be that's gonna be dope. That's something that even a PG wouldn't even have thought of. You feel what I'm saying? So that's like a PG. All these are fucking PG smack battles, dog. Not smack battles and PG battles. Like that's how I'm looking at them. And not to take away from Sig U, because they're Sig U battles. But you know, just to put them on the where where they need to be. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, I got easy edge in that one. If, if you like that one, then you, you I'm sure you're going to like the next one. Next one is another loud boy brother of yours. Mm -hmm. J. Crew versus Ray Stizzy. J. Crew's going to fuck Ray Stizzy up. Bad. Listen, if Ray Stizzy is trolling about his rounds, which I believe he is, I mean, if he's trolling about his rounds, then okay. But Ray Stizzy, I look at Ray Stizzy as a dope sour patch type of dude. You feel what I'm saying? That when he wins, it's kind of like, it's kind of like you can't tell Ray Stizzy nothing. I hate a know it. I don't hate, but I don't like a know it all. And my thing is, I don't dislike you. I just let you stay in your lane. You feel what I'm saying? So I don't get to that point because everybody's not the same. He got a mind of his own and he he he's real about it. So I respect him for that. But at the same time, he's going into this battle losing already. You feel what I'm saying? Because even if you don't spit them rounds, you got going to the people that, oh, they were biased or you, you had better material. When you get to that point, you're losing. I don't care if you're winning. You're losing. And this is what he don't grasp. So, and crew just, crew just too fucking deadly, dog. You can't tell crew. No, crew not going to lose to that boy. All right. Last three battles. Shice Raw versus Lex Banco. Mm -hmm. All right, 28 grams versus Black Mugga. And Ready Rock versus Easy Mac. Ready Rock is gonna fuck Easy back up because Ready Rock is so focused right now. Don't get me wrong, he's not gonna just run through Easy Mac like Easy is nothing. I fuck with Easy, but Easy ain't really got nothing that's wowing about him. Ready Rock got this zone that when he locks in, it's scary. You feel what I'm saying? I seen it. Trust me, I battled him. I seen it. I mean, it's scary. Not literally scary like you don't want to battle him or you're afraid of him. It's just that. 
that zone is respected. You feel what I'm saying? And I haven't seen that from Easy. Uh, so I got Ray Rock winning this. Uh, Chase Raw against who? Lex Banco. Lex Banco. Oh, that's going to be crazy. Uh, see, Long Ray is going to be crazy too because with the. See, Rich Dizzy just, the way he's going into the battle is going to make it crazy. So. Mm -hmm. But uh, Lex Blanco, she just made a post about me today or yesterday saying she fucked with my style. I really keep it real. I haven't heard too much from her. But I know she's a big name. You feel what I'm saying? I know she's well respected. Same thing with Sarah Connor. Before she brought, I never knew who Sarah Connor was because I was in battle rap for my reasons. You feel what I'm saying? I didn't. Was ones that try and friend request people and find out who they are and none of that. So no disrespect, like I know she's popping, but I'm going with Raw. I mean, Raw is just too fucking. She's too fucking herself. If that makes sense, you feel it's nobody like Raw. You feel what I'm saying? The way she dress, the way she talk, and the way she demands respect and attention. Oh, you gonna listen to me? Shut the fuck up, dickhead. <laughs> salute to salute to Shice Raw. Shout out to Shice Raw, man. Last battle, uh, R.I. 28 Grams and Black Mugger. That's going to be very interesting. Black Mugger is going to push R.I. 28 Grams fucking pin, but he's going to come in there and he's going to come playing around. He's going to fuck around and lose 2-1. Ooh, I like that. I like that. You Because he... Fucking, what's his name? Uh, Rio really took, was one of the ones to take my advice about that new writing. And that, this is what I mean by giving somebody who's regular, you gave this man Uncle Nate no disrespect to Uncle Nate at all. But Uncle Nate never reached his full potential. You feel what I'm saying? So, you give somebody like Uncle Nate, it's only so much they can do with him. You feel what I'm saying? That's going wild about. They can wild the crowd, but to actually make it a big, big battle. You, you really couldn't do it unless one of them made it that way. You feel what I'm saying? Made it monumental, but y'all gave him the chance to. And I mean, taking nothing away from y'all leave. But you give him somebody like him, now you about to see who Rio really is. And he just learned something new that he's excited about. Oh, he's about he's not about to play. I've seen dude earlier comment that y'all wild for booking that battle. Uh, There's nothing he can do with Mooka. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying Rio about to just run through Mooga. I'm talking Mooga coming there playing. Ain't no if like Rio ain't got no chance if Mooga don't come in there playing. Because he's gonna push Rio Penn. So that's that's gonna be the most that's gonna be the most uh that's gonna y'all y'all gotta make a word up for the most underrated I mean not cared about battle. You feel what I'm saying? Because of because of recent history, you know, you look at both of them, it's, it's, it's a good match. But it really not to the people who really wants to battle Mugga and think Mugga should progress. Like, shout out to Mugga. He just came off of PG and took Rio, who he sees something in. You feel what I'm saying? So shout out to him. But I got I got, I got, I got to run with Rio, man. Rio is excited to win something new. He's getting better to me each time. It's just that... I know how I feel to not battle nobody and really need a name to really say some shit that people is going to look for and listen to. You feel what I'm saying? It ain't happened to my XL battle or probably my J Legs battle. You feel what I'm saying? For me, for people to say, okay, I know who Floss is. I mean, but after this card, it definitely will. Everybody. Because everybody's going to be there. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm going to be there in March. Oh yeah, it's gonna be real, dog. I don't care if I lose two battles. I need to be on that stage. That shit gonna be crazy. Facts. With that being said, man, man, we sincerely appreciate you taking the time to rock out with us, man. Right. As we said, February fourth, we in Manhattan with it. Great. RBE Club Lift Drum. His Soul Three Club Drum. Salute to everybody over at RBE, uh, ARP, and, and the whole squad. Right. Uh, uh, Shout out to you are, you already know we rocking out March Madness Battle of the Bars two, hashtag Room Rockers, uh, March twenty fifth. We just went over the card. We just went over everything. Make sure y'all follow us online, man. All our social networks. Everything is at Push Your Pen Instagram, Twitter. The Facebook group is uh, Step Your Ink Game Up Battle League on the group on Facebook. 
And uh, SoundCloud at your uh, push at push your pen on SoundCloud.com too. Make sure y'all check out the radio show. Make sure y'all check out the battles. Subscribe. Leave your comments. All that. We in Jersey. We with Floss the Boss. Mm. Loud boy. Facts. You already know what it is, man. Yeah. We out of this bitch, man. One, Sig you behind more. the bars, live and direct. One more thing. RBA. Lift is soul three. Sour apple. Shout out my nigga Linux. You got clothing line out. Sour apple. Shout out the bar critics. Shout out my niggas in LA. Shout out to Sig you. In my South Jersey movement. True. Let's get loud. One last shout out. Shout out to UTM Radio for having us on the radio show as well. Behind the bars. You already know what it is, man. Once again, Sig you behind the bars, live and direct. Floss the balls.